The University of Alaska is leading a state-funded effort to put free pregnancy tests in the bathrooms of 20 bars and restaurants across the state starting this December. That's right, this is a two-year program. It's gonna cost taxpayers about $400,000, and it's designed to combat Alaska's rate of fetal alcohol syndrome, which is the highest of any state in the country. Uh, and interestingly, women of childbearing age are 20% more likely to binge drink in Alaska than any other state. Kim, make your point. How does a pregnancy test solve binge drinking or b drinking while pregnant? Maybe you should be, there should be maybe some education or condoms or something, but knowing you're pregnant is, I mean, I understand what you're trying to do. I don't know if that solves the problem. Might be a little too late if you're at the bar. Jimmy, make your point. So the, I guess the point of this is a lot of people were drinking and then they find out, oh, I've been pregnant for three weeks and oh, I've been shit. hammered for the last three weeks. So that's what this is about, right? So like, oh, I'll, I, I won't drink. I'm at the bar. I'm pregnant. I won't drink because everyone is apparently a hammered head <laughs> drinker in Alaska, which if you've ever been to Alaska, they are, right? Because it's, uh, it's ice fog for nine months out of the year. What else are you going to do? Yeah. You drink and, and have sex. <laughs> But uh, or you know, <laughs> but there's only there's nine men to every woman up there, so it's reversed. Women the gay have, bars are doing great. Well, oh yeah, but the women have all the power sexually, and they're they're like the men. They they like uh, they're very promiscuous, and they they have a saying up there: you don't lose your girlfriend, you just lose your turn. Oh. <laughs> well, that but it's the other way. Uh. But it's not they're using her; she's using mm. them. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, no wonder being surrounded by that many straight guys, why the women are binge drinking. It seems pretty obvious to me. Uh, yeah. This is this is just you're getting uh, the result a little too late. It, this is about education, as Kim said. So my question to you guys: What's the worst decision you've ever made because of drinking? I agreed to do the point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah! I was real, I had a couple of scotches. I was feeling good. I had that warm blanket feeling. Yeah, David yeah. called me. I'm like, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> Traffic. Tra no, no, I love yeah. doing the point. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, no, but that was good. We'll take it. Kim? Well, the worst decision I've made while drinking is that I should drink more ah. and not stop drinking. And then there's the vomiting and bad <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mine is much like Kim's worst decision I ever made after college, about five years after I thought I could still drink at college levels, drank all day long, everything. I was drink all everything. I was going yeah. from beer, wine, tequila, just mixed everything. And I puked literally for like 24 hours at the toilet. And I filled up an entire garbage can in my bathroom with puke. And then the Damn. next day, wait, this is the worst part. The next day, I didn't know I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to clean it out, so I just put the garbage can. I wrapped it up in uh, plastic, <laughs> and I put it downstairs. You know, in a New York City building, I put it downstairs in the garbage, so someone had to take that to the curb. <laughs> and the, wait, and the super, the super from my building, he went to lift it up, and he dumped the entire thing on him. So my drinking led to someone else's vomit being uh, poured all over them. Have you ever done anything like oh that? Oh my God! Let us know in the comment section right down below.